description, Omkar, is described in Bhagavad Gita. Uh, and Krishna says also, Brahmano hi pratishtaham. I am this Om. I am Brahman. I am the basis of impersonal Brahman. So this Om is also Krishna. But it is only the sad feature. It is only the eternal feature of Krishna. And some of the chit potency is there, but very little anand. There is some anand, but very little. Whilst within the Hare Krishna mantra, the full manifestation of spiritual life is there. So let's try the Hare Krishna mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And the most wonderful thing about the Hare Krishna mantra is you can sing this. We can sing in so many melodies. Whilst Om, we can sing Om. Om. It can be sung, but it's not so beautiful, not so melodic. So the impersonal feature of the Lord is also there, and we accept that. But it is not the full manifestation of God or Parabrahman. So, now that Sabhabom Bhattacharya has been liberated from this condition, he wants to change the word from Mukti, which he can't stand the word. He can't, he can't hear the word Mukti anymore. It's disgusting for him to hear Mukti. It's painful for him to hear the Mukti word. So now he wants to hear Bhakti, only Bhakti. So he's in his devotional ecstasy, as Srila Prabhupada has very nicely uh, described it, uh, he has changed the word and brought it before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> and of course, uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not approve of this. And there's a reason for that. Uh, one of the very important things that Srila Prabhupada said uh, regarding his um, quali qualifications as a spiritual master and leader of the Hare Krishna movement, one of the very things he said when he was questioned um, uh, by one uh, reporter or one uh, person in the audience, I, I don't know the exact situation, but the gentleman said, Swamiji, you have done such a wonderful thing. You spread Sanatana Dharma, you spread Krishna Bhakti all over the world. You've done such a great thing. And it, it's, it's, you're, you're wonderful, you're, you're, you're amazing. And he was glorifying Prabhupada and Srila Prabhupada said, he said, I have not done anything special. I have not done anything. I have made no chamatkari, no miracle. He said, if anything, if there's anything I have, I am uh, qualified for, or anything I've done that is great, is that I have not changed a word that I've heard from my spiritual master. I have not changed a word of the scriptures. I have simply repeated the message as it is, and therefore it has worked. So this is the secret of the success of the uh, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. This is the se secret of success of the Bhagavad Gita as it is. This is the secret of success of the Srimad Bhagavatam and the Chaitanya Charitamrita. But the author of these books has not changed a word uh, or he has not changed any of the meanings. He may have superimposed or he may have, or, 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 um, he may have um, emphasized the importance of the goal of the Shastras, the goal of the Vedas, the goal of Vedanta, the goal of spiritual life. And what is that goal? Where is that mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, that goal? Where is that verse in Bhagavad Gita where Krishna clearly mentions this? Where is that verse? Chapter 15, text? 15? Eva Eva Chaham. Do you know this verse? Everyone know this one? Who knows this verse? You know the verse? Who else knows it? Peru? You know it? Yes. The singer from, where are you from, Peru? From Belarus. Belarus. You have a very deep voice. He was singing in the Kirtan. We were all singing high in the Kirtan. And we went to him. <laughs> very nice. 
<laughs> um, so this verse, uh, Saravashya Chaham, 15.15, who's learning verses here? Who's learning the shokas? And Chanakya Pandit, I was reading the other day, <laughs> Niti Shastras of Chanakya Pandit, and there's lots of things he says, but one of the things which struck me, it, it nearly knocked me off the chair, he said that one should not pass a day without learning one verse, or one line, or one word, or one syllable of a verse, of a shloka. Just see, Shanaka Pandit. And I was like, oh my God, you know? So I got my shloka card out in the, in the van, and I, I put my shloka book um, there, and I thought, right, I've got, to make a, I've got to make an effort now. So every day I'm learning at least one word, one word every day. What have I learned today? Uh, yeah, Utsrija and Kama Karata. Utsrija, uh, uh, I was, yeah, Ya Shastra Vidhim Utsrija downstairs. I went in the Bhagavad Gita to learn one word and that was, I didn't know what Utsrija means. So, Ya uh, Shastra Vidhim Utsrija, Vartate Kama Karata. Nasa Siddhim and Avapnoti, Nasukam Pramam Gatim. One who is, uh, gives up. Utsrija means giving up. So I learned that word today. Something. It's something, isn't it? It's better than nothing. What do you think? Yeah. Evo. 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 I'm asking you. Right. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm making an effort. So why don't we all make an effort to learn something every day? Is that a good idea? Yeah, yeah. A deal or no deal? Yeah. Deal? No. Is it a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think Chanaka Pandit? Is he right or wrong? Right. Yeah, so let's try to learn at least one word or half a word. Ut. <laughs> ut srija. So ut means? Give up. Ut means up. Srija means giving up. I don't know what srija means exactly, I'm speculating now, but there we are. There we are. Ut srija means to give up. So let's learn something every day, little verse. So how about Bhagavad Gita 1515? Yeah? Can you learn that today? Oh my God. No? Yes? 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 Are you going to dare to learn a verse? My God, what will happen to you? So I remember one of our previous gurus here in England, he made a very good point once. He was given a class at the manor and he said, he sat there, and it was full of all the devotees were there from Soul Street. Many devotees were back then. And he asked if we knew a verse. And it was a very simple verse. I forget, I think, Day no Swing the Target. Something very basic in our philosophy. And only a handful of devotees put their hand up. So he said, you don't, Do you learn verses? He says, Do you learn the shlokas? And the devotees started looking around at each other. He says, well, what do you do with your mind all day? He said, what do you do with your mind all day? I thought, wow, it's true. If we learn a verse, that verse will keep going around in the mind and it'll help us to stay out of maya because maya is always there to grab us at every moment. Of course, we can chant Hare Krishna mantra, isn't it? We can chant Hare Krishna. It's, but sometimes, because we haven't got taste, we, we'll stop chanting. Does anyone ever stop chanting here? Yeah, you stop chanting. You're in Maya. Now, does anyone else stop chanting? Do, do, do you stop chanting ever? Do you stop chanting? No, you never stop chanting. I try not to. I keep trying. In the mind. Chanting. In the mind. Yeah. Anyway, when we do stop chanting, we can have a verse going on in the background. And that can help us. These are all ways to help us to, to stay strong. Because Maya is there. She's not an enemy. Maya, there's three meanings of Maya. Maya means not this, my illusion. Maya means energy. Mayaya, Yatarudhani, Mayaya. And Maya also means mercy. So Maya is there to also show us mercy, to bring us to Krishna by testing, by giving us hard tests. And the tests have to be hard. They can't be easy tests. There's no such thing as an easy test. But the tests are very important. So anyway, back, back, back to Sarvabhom Bhattacharya. He has now changed the word. And this is very, uh, of course, it's a wonderful thing in one sense. Because he has, 
he has been so much transformed, he doesn't want to hear the word mukti, but he's changed a word in the shadow.